Hey, hey, it's the Cloaker Achievement video. I've received a few suggestions on this before and now it's finally here. So we're going to look at four Cloaker Achievements today. The Knife or Cloaker one, the Eagle Kill a Charging Cloaker, and also Shotgun and or GL40 a Flying Strike Cloaker. As always, let's learn about our target before we start the strategies. Cloakers can only spawn on very hard difficulties and higher, with a spawn cap of 2 and they usually start spawning on most highs when the assault starts. They will repeatedly respawn when one cloaker dies, usually in less than a minute, and can stay in their hiding spots for 5 to 8 minutes at a time, which is why a restart is recommended if they stop showing up. On very hard, they have 1002 health and can be taken out by one GL40 shot, one Desert Eagle headshot, or one Judge headshot. In future, if the numbers ever change, we can adjust by damaging the cloaker with some body shots first. Cloakers will only perform cloaking actions when there is more than one player or bot healthy and running about. This is also why cloakers don't cloak the last or solo player. Of course, if two cloakers target two healthy players at the same time, they can still go down together. A cloaker charge is considered first when the target is within mid distance with a clear path. Only if a charge is not possible and the target is within 6 meters, then will the cloaker consider a flying strike. So from far, we can avoid a charge by having obstacles in between. And when close, we can avoid a flying strike by strafing. You know, like the butcher's hook from Dota. Whew, the boring stuff is over. Let's go to the fun parts. For locations to do the achievements, I personally like Bank Heist because there is one spot that is perfect for doing the Flying Strike achievements but it's also impractical. I had to wait for 24 minutes just to get this video. So instead, we are going to do Watch Dogs Day 1 and 4 stores. Watch Dogs Day 1 is very suitable for the Desert Eagle achievement, don't push it, as it has a very wide area to set up a corridor for the cloaker. So in Day 1, there are 6 manholes and 4 of them are near the truck. Latest by 1.45 game time after the assault starts, two cloakers will spawn from them. If a cloaker spawns nearby, we can bait him into charging. Otherwise, we restart until we get it. So from the start, order the bots to hold position and then we wait for the cloaker to show up. Then we bait him into charging and BAM! Achievement unlocked. For the next two achievements, Not Today and In Town You're The Law, 4 stores has a very suitable location for our needs. And that is the back alley space between the pair store and the convenience store. In 4 stores, there are 16 hiding spots and at this back alley, there are 3 spots nearby, which is one van each in the stores and a manhole in between. So that's a 38.75% chance to spawn at least one cloaker near us. So by 2.30 game time, assuming we went loud right from the start, a cloaker or two should spawn nearby, otherwise we restart and try again. So if a cloaker spawns from the vents, we want to strafe the windows to bait him into doing a flying strike. Same for the manhole, we will strafe this coiled up pile instead until he jumps. Okay, so time for action. So right from the start, we go loud and then position the bots away from us. I like to put two bots at this side of the alley and then one on the other side. This way, they will guard us and not attack the cloaker spawns. Then we wait for either the van or manhole cloakers to spawn and try for the achievements. Do note that the animation window for our flying strike is pretty short, so for the shotgun achievement, it may take a few tries. For 4 stores, I have two other little tricks to add. First is trip mines. By placing a basic trip mine on the vent itself, don't forget to switch to sensor mode. It will explode when the cloaker spawns, which will help alert us and also bring the cloaker health from 1002 to 200. This allows us to body shot him, which is easier than a headshot, by modding a high damage shotgun like the Judge with the triple zero bug shot and shotgun impact ace for the shotgun achievement. And the second trick, which is kind of hilarious, is to use the AI or another player to bait the cloaker. This way, we can already aim at where the cloaker will land rather than try that 90 degree turn and shoot thing. So again, we place two bots to guard and then use the last one as bait. Make the bait bot follow us into the store through the window and then back out. While the bot is climbing out, order a hold position. Give the bot a slow weapon like the Predator shotgun and our setup is then perfect. 
So like usual, we hang around until we see the vent cloaker spawn and then we wait in anticipation to finish off the cloaker. Oh, poor Dallas. He needs a medic bag. And the last achievement, Cloak and Dagger, is pretty straightforward. Either bring Counter-Strike Ace to knock down the cloaker first, or play solo without bots so that he can't jump us. The Nova Shank or Psycho Knife is good for quick steps, while El Verdugo is good for charging. Alright, I'm finally done with this video, and I hope you guys will be able to get your achievements with this. As usual, some gameplay clips are coming up, so stay around to check them out. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Okay, listen to me. When those doors open, you better be ready to get out. Hey, there's too many cops out. Watch out! They're bringing in a sniper team by Chopper. Taser, get Two minutes, guys. It's a cooker! Hey, the pickup car is coming in two minutes, so you just have to find a little more. Trespassers in the area. Down on the ground. Don't move. Hey, weak. Follow me. Got it. Stay. On the ground. Down. Don't move. Don't move. Cloaker down. Get down. Stay still. Look
you're dead! 